stand for our morning prayer. Today is Wednesday, November 13th. We celebrate the memorial of St. Francis Xavier Cabrini. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. We hear in today's first reading from Wisdom, for lowly may be pardoned out of mercy, but the mighty shall be mightily put to the test. For the Lord of all shows no partiality, nor does he fear greatness, because he himself made the great as well as the small, and he provides for all alike. But for those in power, a, a rigorous scrutiny impends. Let us pray. Lord, as we pray for the grace of humility, this quarter, give us the confidence to trust in you and not in ourselves. In our lowliness, you care for us because we allow you to, while the mighty rely on themselves. Keep us always in need of you and humble enough to acknowledge it. We ask this through Christ our Lord. On this day, we remember from the class of 2001, C.J. Hubbard, Stephen Johnson, Keith Files, from the class of 2002, Brad Duahunty, John Hostein, Matt Sapastasso, and from the class of 2003, Michael Cragg. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May the rest in peace, amen. May the souls and the souls of all that faithfully departed through the mercy of God rest in peace, amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Eagles. I'm Delaney Haddad. And I'm Milad Tajali. Welcome to Eagle TV 2.0. We have an awesome show for you all today. We will be featuring your adorable pets on this edition of Midweek Pick Me Up, seeing what you think about our new block schedule, a look back at our cross-country team's Trinity League finals meet, and an interview with one of our amazing golf coaches. I cannot wait. First, let's start with some announcements. Seniors, please take your senior portrait at South Coast Photographic this week at the latest in order to have your portrait included in the yearbook. Also, our last comedy sports match of the semester is tomorrow at 7 p.m. Come fill the dome and laugh your heart out for only $5 at the door. Juniors and seniors, Jossums will be on campus on December 3rd at both lunches for cap and gown orders for the seniors and any ring resizing for the juniors. Also, seniors, December 3rd is your last day to submit your cap and gown order. No payment is needed to submit this order. Today was our fall athletic signing day where 26 of our SM athletes signed their national letters of intent. We are so proud that so many of our seniors are signing scholarship papers for a variety of sports. These talented athletes have worked so hard and we are so excited to see all of their amazing accomplishments in their futures. We wish you the best of luck as you move on from Santa Margarita and begin your college experiences. You know, Malad, I feel like this has been a pretty long week. Let's brighten everyone's day with a midweek pick-me-up. Sounds like an excellent idea. Let's roll it. I love seeing everyone's pets. It always makes my day so much better. I completely agree. Make sure to keep on sending your animal videos to midweekpickmeup at gmail.com. And don't forget to send in those videos with your name and your pet's names too. So Delaney, what do you think about the new block schedule? Honestly, I really like it. I love that we can all have lunch together and we even get Chick-fil-A on campus. I couldn't agree more. Let's go check in with Drake and Sydney as they ask students and teachers what they think about the new block schedule. 
What's going on, SM? I'm Drake Medicina. And I'm Sydney Furman. And we are going to be hearing your opinions on the new schedule. So what do you guys think of the new schedule this year? I like it a lot better because we get more sleep, obviously. I think this year's pretty good because we get some extra sleep. That's always needed. So, Big fan, love sleep. Uh, so 30 minutes means a lot to me in the morning. And you? Same thing. A whole half hour makes a huge difference. Uh, I like this year's a lot better just because we start 30 minutes later. We can get more sleep. So what are your thoughts on trying out the new block schedule? I'm excited for the academic period because we get to hang out with our friends and also we get time to like catch up on schoolwork. Uh, I like how they're going to introduce that academic period to get some of the homework done. I think we should just stick with it. I don't think classes need to be any longer. I taught in a block schedule actually and uh, I really liked it because it allowed me to kind of do things in class and finish them instead of having to like start the next day and be like, so if you remember what we did yesterday. Uh, I really like it because we have lunches with our friends. Um, I don't think I'll be the biggest fan of it because there's like longer periods and everything. Thanks so much for your guys' input on the block schedule. And back to the host in the studio. Thank you, Drake and Sydney. I also heard there's going to be TK, TK burgers at lunch, so make sure to check that out. Milad, fall sports season is coming to a close and I know I'm really going to miss it. Me too. We had a really awesome season, especially our cross, cross country team. Let's take a look at the cross country team's training league finals. Great job, cross country. Also Eagles, Tamara Hirschman and Kendall Sager both qualified for CIF prelims this weekend. So let's make sure to wish them good luck at their meet. Now switching gears, let's talk about another great fall sports team of ours, the girls golf team. Let's all wish good luck to freshman Ryan Bullock as she is competing in her fourth round of CIF tomorrow. It has been a great season for our girls golf team. Unfortunately, Coach Chip is retiring after, the, uh, after this season. Let's take a look at an interview with the beloved coach as he discusses this past season and his retirement plans. Yeah, I'm Christy Freese. Uh, I coach the girls JV girls golf team. Uh, they asked him about getting old, and he said, uh, don't open the door and let the old man in. And that's kind of been my philosophy, and, and uh, I've really enjoyed working with the girls. I have three daughters of my own, three, and a couple of sons also, but I have a lot of grandchildren, and I like working with young people. I think it keeps you young. Uh, well, right off the bat now, I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm about to buy a, uh, a little trailer. I've had an RV before, but I'm going to buy a trailer, uh, rent my house, and I'm going to go on the road and uh, visit probably the majority of uh, next spring, maybe early summer. It's kind of like being in a ball game and uh, you want to win, so uh, you put your best foot forward. Uh, I would say flying is... Uh, when you're in a cockpit, especially a single seat cockpit like that, everything that's outside is really outside. It doesn't touch you and that's the way you feel. It's kind of like being in a cocoon. Thank you for all that you have done for us, Coach Chip. Now before we go, we'd like to wish a very happy birthday to everyone who has a birthday today. Well, Eagles, this wraps up our show for today. I'm Delaney Haddad. And I'm Mila Tajali. Do not forget to remind your parents about back to school night tonight and have an amazing Wednesday, SM.